I spent $41.22 on six brand name items. On the six dupes from Dollar Tree, I spent $7.50. Two very important Dollar Tree questions. Are their dupes worth it? And how much money can we really save? That is $33.72 in savings. So I'm going to say right off the bat, yes, the savings are there. Scrubbing bubbles, dissolving pods, and the bottle. Dollar Tree's dupe of the same thing, you guys. First of all, this is new technology. Like, this is new. I had not seen this. They'll sell you an empty bottle and then the concentrate to make your own little potion at home. I don't hate it. Dollar Tree has given it to me for $1.25. Same idea. Empty bottle and the pods are in there with the concentrated detergent inside. All you have to do is add water. I'm loving the idea, okay? And I'm loving that I only have to pay $1.25 at Dollar Tree. The brand name one cost me $5.47. The one at Dollar Tree, $1.25. And if you're thinking, what about the refills, Vivian? Here are the refills of the brand name. Here are the refills for Dollar Tree. The brand name refills are going to cost you $6.47, Dollar Tree, $1.25. You're getting three refills. You're getting two refills on the brand name ones. On the refills alone, we're saving way over $5. On the empty bottles, we're saving $4.22. The one from Dollar Tree also brings two of the little pods. The brand name one is only giving me one little pod. Let's see what we get. Cute bottle. Okay, the bottle is way bigger. So am I getting more product over here? Don't be fooled. They both will make a 26 ounce bottle of detergent. $5.47. One pod, one bottle. Here's the thing. Dollar Tree said, we'll save you money. They're just not dissolvable. You're going to have to open it and throw it in there. <laughs> the Scrub and Bubbles people, they got fancy. They're like, just throw it in. We'll charge you way more and it'll dissolve for you. Listen, I don't mind cutting it with scissors and throwing it in there. I'm good with that stuff. So that's the difference. Ooh, they're both green. These look very concentrated compared to the ones from Dollar Tree. They're both filled with hot water, which is what the instruction said. But here's the problem. You guys have to show us where the fill line is. It's almost impossible to see a fill line. I know some people might not think it's a big deal. It's a big deal. If you put too much water, then it's not going to disinfect as it should. If you don't put enough, then you're using more detergent than you should. It's not going to blow the budget for you guys to draw us a line. Ready? Dissolved. I love the color. Why do I feel like my house is going to be extra clean now? I don't know. Maybe because it's green. Oh, that was super easy. I would totally do this. Our color is a little off. The Dollar Tree one is okay. Let's see if one smells stronger than the other one. Ooh, both smell really nice. They smell like really clean. This one almost smells like apple. They're both bathroom cleaners, but I thought we would use a little bit of makeup because it has a lot of oil. I want to see which one breaks up the makeup faster. We'll start with the one from Dollar Tree. Brand name. Whoa, great sprayer attachment thing. I love I don't know, it has a really nice clean detergent smell. Okay, wait a second. This one looks like it's breaking that up. Now, did I put too much water in here? We don't know because y'all didn't tell me where to stop. Scrubbing bubbles, a thousand percent for the win. I haven't even had to scrub or anything. It just broke that up. I haven't done anything. This one's just sitting the same way. So impressed. Listen, it's more expensive, but you might have to use less. So it might be a win at the end of the day. So based on just what I've seen, what I've just experienced, Experienced, I'm gonna say go for this one. This one's fine. Maybe don't put as much water as I did, but you might want to spend the extra money. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads, even at the price point, and I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one four Vivian heads. Olay's revitalizing and hydrating body lotion with vitamin C. Oh, and they have the entire collection. There's one with vitamin C. Dollar Tree knocked it off. Collagen. Dollar Tree knocked it off. And they have one with hyaluronic acid, which Dollar Tree knocked off. This one cost me $9.97. These cost me $1.25 each. That is $3.75 for three of them. Or I could have spent $30 if I would have bought all three name brand. So I thought, you know what? Let's try vitamin C up against vitamin C. The Olay one giving me 17 ounces of product. The one from Dollar Tree is only giving me eight ounces of product. By purchasing the one from Dollar Tree, I saved $8.72. And they got no shame. Look at, they even did the same color scheme. This is part of their Be Pure line, which anytime I see anything in that store that says Be Pure, I'm picking it up because so far it has not let me down. Now these are so fancy looking like these. They even like shrink wrap the top, which I was so impressed with. Olay is promising a lot, okay? I don't know. I haven't seen the clinical trials. I haven't reviewed the clinical trials, but somebody researched this for me because they're saying that it will penetrate skin surface up to 
10 layers. What is different about this lotion that it will penetrate that deep? In my opinion, I don't know about that claim because I don't, I, what, just by adding vitamin C to it doesn't mean it's going to penetrate any deeper. Is there a special kind of technology that you guys are using in your lotion? The brand name one is crafted with vitamin B3 complex and vitamin C. Dollar Tree does not promise anything with vitamin B3 complexes, but they do both promise to brighten and revitalize your skin. Olay promises not to leave a greasy, residue behind that's the first thing i'm checking dollar tree is really stepping it up i have to invest in this company let me smell <gasps> oh that smells divine but dollar tree is right behind y'all the scent of this guy is delish the reason i didn't buy the brand name ones you guys is not only was i not going to spend 30 dollars on lotion because when the hell am i going to use all this but also collagen from what i hear on the anti-aging street is that collagen cannot penetrate through your skin. I don't wanna buy a $10 lotion if it ain't doing nothing. Vitamin C I know does help. Hyaluronic acid probably does work as well. At Dollar Tree, who cares? You got lotion for three years, but you only paid $3. Let's smell this one. <gasps> oh, this one's a little bit different, wait, wait. Okay, they have the same fragrance, but the collagen one is yellow. Is that the collagen coming through? <laughs> I don't know the Dollar Tree one on this hand. They look very similar. Dollar Tree, look how fast that's moving. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. The Olay is not moving. The one from Dollar Tree is very liquidy, watery. Look at this, feels so nice. Okay, let me get to this one because he is sliding all the way down. Huh, different. While they both absorbed into my skin nicely, I do like how the brand name one has absorbed and the smell. Unfortunately, not 100% the same, slightly different. I think putting it here on paper you guys can see how the one from Dollar Tree is a little bit more watery, a little bit more milky, still leaning towards this guy, even at the price point. Just based on my first impression, I'm still gonna go for the Dollar Tree one because you are saving $8, but I would not say never buy this one. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree Dupe three Vivian heads, and I'm gonna give the brand name one four Vivian heads. I knocked a Vivian head off for price. Listerine breath strips, Dollar Tree dupe of the Listerine breath strips. A pack of three cost me $5.34. One pack at Dollar Tree cost me $1.25. The Dollar Tree one brings 24 little strips per pack. Each one of the Listerine also brings 24 per pack. I think we can all use these. For $1.25, why not carry some in your purse or in your suitcase or in your bag? Hopefully these are not too intense. I don't know that they're made in the same place, but they look very... The packaging was almost identical, and this packaging, you could have fooled me. The ones from Dollar Tree do look a little bit creamier in color. I'm going to try the Listerine first so I know what it should taste like. That melted in three seconds. That is intense. I can't breathe. I don't know how people buy these things. They're too much. That will kill anything in your mouth. That is going to clean and disinfect and leave you squeaky clean. My drink's not going to taste the same, but I need to cleanse the palate. Okay, now the Dollar Tree one. Is it okay to take two? I will buy the Dollar Trees because they're not as intense. The Listerine ones are gonna burn the nose hairs right out when you exhale. This one is a little bit more mild, still very refreshing, still cooling sensation, but it's not burning the insides of you. Not only are we saving money, but it's just as nice without putting you in a coma. <laughs> the Listerine one promises to kill 99% of germs and hit nose hairs. <laughs> yeah, the one from Dollar Tree doesn't promise that, but too intense for me. I'm just gonna do about three little spritzes and then we'll see which one melts faster. I caught that on camera, yes I did. Did you see that? Let's watch it again because that was pretty incredible. It looks like the Dollar Tree one melted way faster. Let me touch it to see if I can help it. They're acting exactly the same. So I'm gonna say save yourself the money and the nose hairs. <laughs> so I'm gonna give the Listerine three Vivian heads and I'm gonna give the Dollar Tree one four Vivian heads. Teeth whitening mouthwash. The Crest cost me $6.97. Dollar Tree, $1.25. Here are my thoughts on these whitening mouthwashes. I love them. If you don't want to sit 30 minutes with a strip in your mouth to whiten your teeth, or you don't want to pay hundreds of dollars to go to a dentist to whiten your teeth, to me, this is even better than the strips. Why? Because the mouthwash not only takes all the nastiness out of your mouth, but it also gets in between the teeth. So it's not just whitening the surface, so it whitens in between. So 
if you want to invest the six dollars I'm gonna say it's still worth it because those strips are expensive and a little bit of this mouthwash every day to me is gonna be better than doing those strips once every six months so that's a pro tip but if we can get whitening toothpaste from Dollar Tree and save ourselves five dollars and seventy two cents all day yes the crest one does promise to make your teeth whiter in seven days and it has peroxide in it that's the secret sauce the one from Dollar Tree also has peroxide in it but which one has peroxide higher on the list the peroxide in the one from Dollar Tree is the fifth ingredient down in the crest brand name one the peroxide is the third ingredient down so more peroxide in this one but we are saving tons of money I'm still gonna say this but if you don't want to spend this much and you still want want the whitening effect this might be worth it let's see Ooh, smells like Listerine oh this one has a nicer sweeter smell this one's very intense okay let's pour some out for the homies <laughs> I'll try the brand name first oh very refreshing my eyes are crying if you've never tried a whitening mouthwash try it and you'll see what I'm talking about where that peroxide is in between the teeth and in all the little crevices that was divine great experience I feel very refreshed the actual flavor and scent are not so overpowering that I could not swish around for the right amount of time so this is worth the money in my opinion but let's see if for $1.25 we can get something similar another little tip for mouthwash is you should do your mouthwash and then do not drink or eat anything Thing for about 15 to 20 minutes okay so now we'll try this one very intense the second ingredient in this guy is alcohol the crest is alcohol free that's why this one is so intense and when it's that intense it's gonna dry out your mouth listen to me like I'm a dentist but back me up dentists that are watching and dental hygienists alcohol free one is not gonna dry out your mouth and also it's gonna allow you to swish around longer because it's not gonna feel like your mouth is burning off if you're on a budget and you have to try this it's kind of giving me the same kind of bubbly effect in my mouth and it does have peroxide so it might help with the whitening for a dollar 25 why not give it a try maybe if you haven't tried a whitening mouthwash maybe start here and if you love it and you feel like it's something you want to continue maybe you make the investment into this guy because this guy is totally worth it so for all of those reasons I'm gonna give the brand name one five Vivian heads even at the cost and I'll give the Dollar Tree one three Vivian heads Dr. Brown's fruit feeder it's like a little silicone pacifier and then Dollar Tree the Dr. Brown's brand name one cost me $7. Dollar Tree, $1.25. How cute are these? When my daughter was a baby, they didn't have things like this. I love stuff like this. Wow, how impressive. By buying the Dollar Tree one, you're saving $5.75. Look how nice it is. Oh, that's how you put the fruit in. Quality wise, it's very nice. Now, once I open this one, I'll tell you how nice it is. But first impressions, very, very nice. Okay, let's see what this one is going to give us. The Dollar Tree one says it is BPA free. Now it doesn't say anything about silicone, but I think it's made out of silicone. It feels like silicone. One from Dr. Brown, which is way bigger, does say it is made out of 100% silicone. It is way bigger. Look how nice that is. Dollar Tree's smaller, but I'm still impressed with it. I don't know why. Now the one from Dollar Tree is harder to take the lid off, but it is super soft. I'm really impressed with the texture of that. They're both super soft. This one is way softer and way more translucent. Is that the word I'm trying to look for? Translu translucent? Transparent? I don't know. The holes in each one of them look about the same. How do we open it? Oh, it's a twisty. So you put the fruit in there and then you twist it on. The one from Dollar Tree is like a little, I kind of like this one because it won't detach and you won't lose it. So once you've boiled it and cleaned it and sanitized it, you get some fruit, but you put it in there. Oh, how sweet is this? The one from Dollar Tree is very small, but it's cute. Maybe a beginner one. Oh, I know what. You, maybe your baby is picky and you don't know if you should invest in a $7 pacifier. I am the one from Dollar Tree to see how they love it. Look how cute that is. And then you put the lid on and I heard it's good for teething as well. So if your babies like teething, put it in the freezer and then they can chew on the fruit. Dr. Brown is definitely going to fit a lot more fruit. Okay, not a lot more, but a little more. And you screw it on. Oh, so, so cute. Now you can put strawberry, you can put anything in here. But from what I understand, the colder, the nicer it is on their gums if, if they are teething. The baby is not going to get 
big chunks of food. That's what I was worried about. Just tiny little bits of fruit come out. It's really a chewing thing more than a feeder in my opinion. I can't even hate on the Dr. Brown one because it's given me an overall better experience. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give the brand name one for Vivian Heads. I'll knock a Vivian head off for price and I'll give the Dollar Tree one for Vivian Heads. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!